Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today we would be working over our project series as discussed earlier. So let's get going without any wasting time. So uh, guys, in this project series, I would be trying to cover most of the cloud concept series uh, like your service cloud, community cloud. Uh, we would surely touch the sales cloud as well but uh, that would be too complex for you guys so working with the initials first of all uh, you have to go to all sites but before that since this is a new org uh, so you have to set up your digital experience so uh, digital experience and in here there would be a, a checkbox to uh, enable digital experience and all these things would come up thereafter uh, you would go to all sites and uh, in here you would be creating a new site for your customers to view okay so uh, in here uh, now it would be prompting over to create and choose a template so our basic template would be customer service template though we would be uh, modifying this from scratch everything from uh, the scratch to uh, the end so uh, I would be uh, giving this a uh, name as Amazon and let it be uh, this as home so I would be creating this site so this URL is reserved for internal use so let us say that uh, this is optional because home would be internally available as our uh, first uh, template that would be a public page uh, for the beginners who are new in salesforce or for those who are new in experience cloud don't worry guys uh, we would be going from the beginning uh, from the easy to difficult concepts so we would be covering all in this uh, project series and via this project i would be uh, trying to give you an industry exposure that how things work and how you ought to think over these things like whenever you were, would be given a project or something of that kind so what should be the steps how you should uh, cater things and how and where what are the resources to uh, learn these things so we would be uh, understanding all those so basically this customization takes some time so let us wait for this and we would be continuing down there so guys our uh, website is created and we are in the workspace section of our site so we would be going to builder this is your builder here you would be customizing your look and feel of your sites you would be creating new pages so exploring this builder this is the home tab so this is this would take some time to load so till then uh, this is your administration section that is the second most important thing as a beginner point of view that what needs to be uh, uh, done and think upon okay and thereafter these are the secondary things that you would be examining after you have a good command over these two things like the administration and builder because 90% uh, of the thing or let us say 95% of the things are controlled by our administration only okay so basically this is your template this is your heading etc etc but we don't want uh, any of these such uh, components so first we would be working over to our login page so basically salesforce provides you with certain templates and pages that are pre-built to you okay so uh, by default uh, if you see uh, this page that is this login page would be visible to you all guys but uh, since we don't want this page so uh, what we would be doing is we would be creating an entirely new page so but we would be instead of creating an entirely new page because one thing uh, that you all should remember is uh, the username and password is managed by salesforce itself okay we don't have any custom object uh, that is there dedicatedly for us to save our username and password okay actually we can think this as a kind of a data breach as well so if the, we provide username and password fields so uh, or anyone uh, could use them and could uh, modify accordingly any internal user as well so that's why so this is upon salesforce and so uh, we need a login page like amazon 
so uh, see this is your amazon website and this is sign in but uh, no we would be just logging in so we want just this kind of thing like right uh, this simple page we don't want this one page see these two pages are very different from each other so how you would be dealing with these things is uh, you have to go to your page variations basically page variation helps you to create an alternative for your existing page okay so you would be creating a new page variation and in here you would be creating a uh, blank page but before that page you have to get ready with all these things okay so for this you would you would be doing is going over to your vs code uh, creating a new lightning web component and this name would be amazon clone okay so uh, this uh, is created guys now uh, let us see amazon clone.html and amazon clone.js and the most importantly the xml part as well so make it to exact post true and uh, if you are to expose it to your community so you use the lwc target and uh, this is the app page home page and record page by default but since you are over to your community so you have to uncomment the community page and the community default page so that it is visible over to your communities as well okay this is done um, going backwards i think let us i need to increase the font so yeah i just uh, uh, commented out these things guys so if you want to type by yourself you could type lightning community page and this is two underscores so keep in mind uh, okay uh, moving further uh, first we need to uh, create a ui like this one so in here this is the banner and the sign in and other features so what we would be doing is uh, we would be working in a card okay so at that the ui designing is all up to you guys um, but what we want to learn is how to uh, make your code extensible so uh, okay let me remove all these things and inside my lightning card uh, what i would be doing is uh, actually for login what i want i want email and i want the password or the username or the password and then a login button okay so uh, what we could uh, be doing is uh, we could use uh, in we could use a use of make slds grids as well uh, we could use a uh, div instead of lightning card so we could give this a class as uh, login uh, modal and in this we would be creating uh, uh, using grids so uh, basically what is the best resource for your grid is uh, your uh, lightning design uh, that is the official documentation so let me uh, make you go there so guys this is your lightning design systems and this is the grid and in here what we would be doing is we want some so see guys what is the code here is uh, SLDS grid and this, this is the SLDS columns in here so uh, three columns uh, 12 columns uh, see uh, one column is having max more width than the other so this is uh, using the SLDS size that is the two of three that means uh, it would be covering two portions out of three and this would be covering one portion out of three two third one third so that is the meaning of this so uh, what we want here is guys uh, we want one column of uh, see if we divide this into grids how it would look like okay so let me show you uh, since this is the mobile view uh, this is one column everything is one column so uh, see there is a uh, kind of uh, SL and uh, grids where we, we uh, put it in the horizontal alignment and the vertical alignment so see to switch the grid flow from top to bottom axis SLDS grid vertical so see SLDS column SLDS column SLDS column so no issues in that so what we could do is we could try this out okay div and the class 
or what we could do is uh, instead of having these we could do a smart work is copy paste the code okay uh, copy and in here paste so uh, let me format my document so yeah uh, this is my dev this is my SLDS grid and this is the vertical position by which this would be aligned vertically okay one below the other this is my column and uh, three columns since I want uh, vertical uh, grid so I am not providing any sizing in here so let us see that how it would look like so uh, deploying this source to work and uh, create a page variation of this guys uh -huh. so since uh, we want one width full column layout uh, so so we would be giving this name as amazon login page and we would be uh, creating this so uh, guys upon creating uh, this page also uh, i am seeing on this background see but I don't want this so uh, what needs to be done in here uh, first uh, as I told you about the administration section click over this and in here uh, come down to login and registration okay and uh, uh, in down here see this is the logo file is the background is the login button so uh, this is the default login uh, login page type so since by default this is coming the default type but i want a, a experience builder page that is this uh, experience builder and in here i would be choosing my page and i would be going with login but i don't think so since we have uh, published our community so this won't be visible yes i was right so uh, let me first uh, publish my community so publish publish so this would take some time and thereafter our login page would be delivered over to our administration site so uh, on the from which mail id you have registered you will be getting your uh, published uh, a mail over there as well so check for that and thereafter uh, we would be going back to here and refreshing this uh, so see guys our login page type is by default experience builder page and in here by default there is a login and we only want that as well so this is our page going back and, and, and if there is anything that needs to be updated no so uh, background color background type and uh, the right frame logout page url that would be automatically to the login page thereafter and uh, okay uh, that is done uh, refresh this again and now drag and drop your component here login and go with this login so i want uh, amazon login page in here and update this uh, page variation uh, to Amazon login page and uh, rest is fine and, and make this as your uh, default page so this would be uh, your default page and and the changes would be pending in here so publish this again to make uh, the appropriate changes uh, don't worry guys of the background color and all because we would be modifying this so this all would be uh, removed uh, but for now I want you all uh, to come up till here and uh, create this login page and the uh, community website as we created so see now by default your amazon login page is being loaded and now this is your theme section uh, so now uh, colors see in down here the login page 
and you could uh, modify your colors as per your wish okay so you want um, this color you want any as per your type so uh, this could be done so uh, we would be modifying our page uh, in the next video uh, till then I hope uh, this would um, not be a long video so you will all get time to uh, come up to the pace uh, we haven't done anything much till now so in the next video uh, we would be creating this page like this one so we would be meeting in the next video hope you all uh, understood this video and if you have any comments uh, doubts do comment down below I would be happy to solve your doubts